Richard is a very thoughtful artist who bridges the gap between documentary photography and art. And this piece in particular was an artistic exploration of the issues around the Congo, shot through film that turned everything to a bright pink. And it was a piece that was very accessible, but also delved into international issues. Richard Moss is an Irish photographer and filmmaker who immerses himself in his subject, integrating documentary journalism and art practice to explore issues of conflict, displacement and perception. I suppose I'm trying to, to, to sort of hybridise uh, those two worlds, bring them together, smash them together sometimes, in order to, um, to ask questions rather than provide answers. Richard exhibited The Enclave, a six-screen video installation representing Ireland at the Venice Biennale. He was later awarded one of photography's most prestigious prizes, the Deutsche Borsa Prize, for his depictions of the conflict. The Enclave is uh, it's a six-screen, double-sided film installation. The piece is about uh, the conflict in eastern Congo. My strategy here was to, to try to find an alternate approach to, to represent this, this hidden and forgotten conflict. And I did that using a type of film called Kodak Aerochrome, which is an old military reconnaissance and surveillance technology from World War II, now discontinued, um, which it was designed uh, in order to reveal the camouflage, but sort of to reveal the enemy hidden in the landscape. So really to take this film, which sees an invisible kind of light, which is infrared light, it's an infrared film technology, and to use it to make visible or to reveal uh, a forgotten humanitarian tragedy. This new project I've moved forward um, and I'm starting to look at very advanced new, um, again, military surveillance technologies designed here in the EU, actually in Britain. Um, and this particular camera I chose to work with, it can detect the human figure from 30.3 kilometers. So I might. I was overwhelmed by the power of the technology and, and, and quite, you know, quite impressed, uh, but also concerned. 